Tick season is here and we all want to keep our pets safe. Local 3's Thomas Clay Combs spoke with a veterinarian in Escanaba who says year round preventative care is the best option to keep your pets safe from what they could catch. Flea and tick season is upon us, and the Escanaba Vet Clinic is sharing tips on how to protect your pets and you from getting sick. Fleas and ticks can transmit diseases to your pets and to yourself, so it's important to check them regularly and to dispose of ticks if they're on them safely. In our area, we have a prominent amount of ticks that are noted from spring until fall. Um, however, ticks are active anywhere above 30 degrees. I think Michigan State did a study and it said 28 degrees we have activity of ticks. So even in February and March, we can have quite a few tick um, activities. Um, so we do recommend using a preventative year round. The main things that we see here are Lyme infection and anaplasmosis infection. Um, but there are some other diseases such as Ehrlichia and Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever and many others that ticks can transmit. Most tick infections are zoonotic, which means that they can be transmitted to humans as well. Um, so you don't get it directly from your dog. However, if the tick is on your dog, crawls on you and bites you, you're going to be at risk of those infections as well. We do recommend using tick preventative year round here. Um, and there's many different kinds. So there's collars that you can use. Um, the only collar that I really feel works is a Seresto collar. So there, there are good and bad ones. There's oral medications that you can give now that are really good um, and have a fast kill of that tick um, and pretty safe. We don't see a lot of side effects from them. And then we have have our topical medications and those are good as well but they don't have as quick of a kill of the ticks so you they have to crawl on your pet bite your pet and they're there for about 24 hours before they kill although fleas are not a year-round concern in the upper peninsula your pets can still get them it is important to be aware of what can cause your pets to get fleas how to properly care for them if they do and the steps you can take to prevent them from getting fleas altogether. You know, in the UP, we don't see a lot of flea infestation, comparatively speaking to Florida or the very Southern states. However, I will say we do see our fair amount of fleas. Fleas, typically the bad things, they get tapeworms from fleas, and then they get really bad dermatitis or itchiness from fleas. Fleas carry diseases for us as well. So our pets having fleas can cause problems for us. Um, and so it's important to keep those off of them as well. Um, we have our flea season usually August. Fair week we start to see fleas in the area um, and then unfortunately we'll see them really get bad in November, December, and January. Those are the months and the reason is people stop using tick preventative and so we'll get a ton of pets in that are covered in fleas. So again why it's important to use it all 12 months out of the year. So if your pet does have ticks that we see on them, um, there is a test that is a blood test um, that can be run. Usually we recommend running that test about 30 to 90 days after that tick was found. Um, and then we can test them for the common diseases in our area. If that test does come back positive or your dog is clinical for those diseases, there are treatments for it. If you can save that tick and get it identified, that's helpful because certain ticks carry certain diseases. Recently, the Escanaba Vet Clinic has come across more cases of heartworm than in previous years. In years past, they would only see a small handful of heartworm cases for the entire year. As of now, they currently have nine cases this year so far. Heartworm can be a deadly disease, so it's important to know how to identify, prevent, and treat it. So, you know, heartworm disease is a disease that's found throughout the the United States, but throughout the world. So it's a disease that we see everywhere. Um, it's a disease that's transmitted from mosquitoes to dogs. So mosquitoes carry that disease. Um, and how, female mosquitoes are the ones that feed on blood, correct? So the female mosquito will bite a positive dog, pick up what's called microfilaria, immature heartworm disease, and carry it around, and then bite another dog and give that disease to that dog. Um, so it's transmitted from dog to dog via of mosquito. Some of the problem with heartworm disease as well is that people take their pets everywhere now. Um, and so snowbirds don't realize. They're always lived in upper Michigan. Now all of a sudden they're going to Florida for the winter, Arizona for the winter, Louisiana for the winter, and all of a sudden Fluffy's going with them. And so those cases are coming back to the UP positive because they weren't prevented while they were there. They had just being on year round prevention allows people to be protected even when they're not thinking about it. And that's another reason to do it year round. It's a disease that you can prevent for 10 years for the same cost that you could treat at one time. If you would like to learn more about heartworm and your pets, you can visit heartwormsociety.org for more information. And if you're ever concerned about the health of your pet, don't be afraid to go to your local vet and ask questions. We all want our pets to be happy and healthy for years to come.
I'm Thomas Claycomb, reporting at Delta County, Local 3 News.